Hello and welcome back to another Spectrum Geeks video. My name is Dale. Appreciate you taking the time to tune into this video. It's part of my usual monthly solar updates, this time for August 2022. So before we go through all of the stats for August 2022 of my solar PV system, just remind you again, if you're new to the channel, you can click on the card up above to find more out about the solar PV and battery setup we have here. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back to see how our stats are doing. And as always, please feel free to share your stats uh, with me and the rest of the people on the channel as well down below in the comments. So let's kick it off for August 2022. So in August, we've generated 1.07 megawatt hours of electricity just from solar. And we use 78% of that, so 840 kilowatt hours of electricity we're able to use both into the cars, into the battery heating at water, and obviously just general usage of the house with all our servers and computers running, that kind of thing. So obviously that means that we exported 22% of our electricity, so 230 kilowatt hours of electricity from solar went back into the grid. Also part of that is for a couple of other reasons. We had some time off this month, so we went away in our Hero Camper. And we also had a fault with our My Energy Harvey, uh, and that stopped working. So basically the CT clamps couldn't give information to the Eddie and the Zappy to say that there was solar surplus to put into hot water and the cars. Um, My Energy did great, great customer service as usual. They shipped me out a replacement one. It just took me about a week to get time to get that back up and everything's working as normal again. So um, we still did require importing from the grid though, because again, most of the time we are charging our cars uh, off peak from half past midnight to half past four on the Oxbus Go tariff. Uh, as I always mentioned, if you've got an electric vehicle and you're looking to move energy providers, you want off peak charging, definitely check out Oxbus Energy and the Oxbus Go tariff. If you use the link down in the description, you'll get 50 pounds credited to your bill as will I. So importing from the grid, and the most of it was uh, off peak, and we'll touch on that a little bit moment, in a little bit of a moment, <laughs> when we uh, get to the, the um, billing part, but 290 kilowatt hours is what we imported from the grid in August 2022. So in terms of our best solar generation day, that was on the 7th of August, and we generated 51.072 kilowatt hours of electricity. Our best export day, unsurprisingly, was one of the days when we weren't here, and that was on the 28th of August, and we exported 26.841 kilowatt hours of electricity back to the grid. And our highest import day was on the 26th of August, and we imported 45.158 kilowatt hours of energy from the grid. And that's mainly because we were charging the cars up and everything uh, prior to going away. So. Seems like a lot, but again, when that's off peak, only paying 7.5 pence per kilowatt hour, um, it's actually not too bad. So if we look at our bill from Octopus Energy for the month of August 2022, we managed to use 253.7 kilowatt hours of energy during the off peak time. So again, we are still pulling from the grid, but nearly everything comes uh, off peak, uh, meaning we only use 20.6 kilowatt hours of energy at peak times. So in total, that's 274.3 kilowatt hours from the grid. But because most of it is off peak, that means our average unit price is 8.80 pence per kilowatt hour, which is pretty good, uh, bringing our total electricity bill to 33 pounds and 13 pence um, for our electricity. And for gas, still not using any gas at the moment. We only use gas for central heating, or if we really need to, we can boost our hot water with gas as well. So we only are paying um, the standing charge for gas this month, which is a total of eight pounds and four pence. So whilst we're talking about billing, I always mention kind of how things are going in terms of our solar payback. And actually will be a video due soon. I think it's our fifth year of having solar now. So I need to kind of tut up where we are in terms of our payback pot and how many years it's taking. Obviously electric prices going up um, will be helping with the payback, but we're still locked in on our current tariff till March, I think. And um, so even though obviously we've got the price cap and different things happening with the government at the moment on the cap, 
and that will be obviously having an impact on our payback. So we got in to the feed-in tariff right at the end, as I always mention, so we do get the feed-in tariff, and what that means is for our generation in August 2022, we get paid £48.04, and pence, and then we get our deemed export payment of £32.05, and pence, and then all that electricity that we generated and then we used meaning we didn't have to buy it from the grid, equates to a saving of £258.55 that goes back into our savings pot. So in August 2022, we basically have £338.64 that goes back into our solar payback pot that helps paying off all the solar panels and the batteries and everything. Um, if we weren't on the feed-in tariff and we were getting paid to export uh, for the month of August 2022, we would have been paid £12.65. pence. But remember, as I always say, we're trying never to export anything if we can. We've got two electric vehicles we're charging, we've got our Tesla power wall, we've got our um, Eddie to heat hot water. As much as possible, we try and use our solar energy in our house or store it up for usage later. So in terms of how we use all the electricity, we use it in four ways. One is obviously general running of the house. We're quite a high consuming household with multiple servers and computers running 24 seven. But then we've got the electric car chargers, the heating of the hot water and our power to where we store some of that energy either from solar or off peak. Um, so it's, we buy it cheaper and use it when it's more expensive. So in August, uh, in terms of our Zappi, we put 289.92 kilowatt hours of energy into charging our vehicles. Um, 26% of that we did use from the grid. So 74.20 kilowatt hours came from the grid, but 74% of our charging was all from solar this month. Um, and that was 215.72 kilowatt hours of solar energy into charging our electric vehicles. And then in terms of heating hot water, we put 124.5 kilowatt hours of electricity into heating hot water. A large majority of that actually comes from the grid because we just have basically two hours, I think it's every other day or something, uh, that we kind of use some grid energy to make sure that hot water tank is up to temperature. So 75.5 kilowatt hours of energy came from the grid to heat hot water, which is 61% of our total uh, hot water heating usage. And 49 kilowatt hours came from solar to heat hot water, so around 39%. Finally, into our Tesla Powerwall 2, we managed to get 324.8 kilowatt hours of energy out of our Tesla Powerwall 2 to use, obviously when the sun's gone down and solar generation isn't working. And um, actually most of that came from solar this month, so 75% of it from solar. So 244 kilowatt hours of solar energy went into our Tesla Powerwall 2 to use later on in the day. And then 25% of it came from the grid, so about 80.8 kilowatt hours from the grid to charge up our Tesla Powerwall 2 during off-peak times so we can use that cheap electricity later when it's a bit more expensive. So that's our solar PV update for the month of August 2022. Again, share your details below in the comments if you want, ask any questions that you might have, and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks as always for watching. Take care of yourself until the next video. Bye for now.